And breaking, the FBI now says an armed attack on a naval air base in Texas this morning was terrorism. What appears to be the second Islamic radical attack targeting a U.S. military base in recent months. The suspect was killed, and one member of the security team that stopped him was injured. National security correspondent Jennifer Griffin is at the Pentagon with the breaking details tonight. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Brett. It's the second terrorist attack on a Navy base in the United States since December. This morning at Naval Air Station Corpus Christi in Texas, a car came speeding through a gate, which triggered vehicle barriers to deploy and stop the car. The driver then began shooting, injuring a security guard. That sailor was wearing a bulletproof vest and has since been released from the hospital. The suspect was reportedly an Arab man, a U.S. official tells Fox, and was shot and killed during the attack. We have determined that the incident this morning at the Naval Air Station Corpus Christi is terrorism related. The scene is still being processed. We may have a potential second related person of interest at large in the community, but we would encourage the public to remain calm and if you see something, say something. Today's attack comes just months after a Saudi pilot in training went on a shooting rampage, killing three U.S. service members in Pensacola, Florida. On Monday, the FBI and Attorney General William Barr held a press conference to announce that the Saudi pilot who went on the shooting spree at the Naval Air Station in Pensacola had been in touch with an al-Qaeda leader in Yemen, which the FBI learned after cracking the encryption on the shooter's iPhone. The al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula leader in contact with the Saudi pilot was Abdullah al-Maliki. Fox News has since learned the al-Qaeda handler was killed in a U.S.-led operation. It is not clear if today's attack in Texas is linked. Sources tell Fox the shooter in Texas today had, quote, a lots of ammunition, and it took about five hours to get the body because local authorities thought he might have been wearing a suicide belt and had to call the bomb squad. Brett? FBI on the scene there. Jennifer Griffin, live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you.